I'm from California, not really based anywhere, but I've been nomadic for the last two years. I'm a visual artist and independent filmmaker. I have a research-based practice that, and I'm interested in cultural identity, language, and displacement. I'm interested in how artists can be witnesses and how we can use documentation as practice. And by documentation, I mean by arranging, archiving, manipulating, and juxtaposing. Sometimes I use myself as a subject and sometimes I talk about what's happening in the world. I often use documentary methods. Usually I'm really interested in using documentary to reveal radical subjectivity. For example, my previous work, Please Come Again, I use Asia's Love Hotel as a metaphor for the female body to talk about intergenerational trauma between three generations of women by using my family as the subject. Um, so my intention of documenting the interior of Love Hotels is also a simultaneous critique of so much of the subjectivity don't get included and situating my personal experience and talking about the traumas that are, have been the result of post-colonialism and also a lot of the social cultural conditionings. Since I've been nomadic, I've been documenting the sky every day at sunset. So I'm using my phone, which includes metadata that tracks my migration. At Venus here, I am testing and experimenting in what kind of form this collection can take. So it could be a stop motion, it could be prints, um, a book, so that's part of the work that I'm doing here. I was living in Los Angeles for about 14 years and I was gentrified out of my neighborhood. So I'm always on the move and being nomadic, meaning I don't really have anything to ground me anymore except for the sky. So having something to center me at the end of the day, using that as a grounding ritual every day. And I'm hoping this could be a lifelong project. It's called 10,000 Sunsets, and 10,000 kind of refer to a term that is used a lot in Buddhist and Taoist texts, uh, kind of refers to multitude of infinity. So basically like anything that we put a name on. There's one thing with film that I'm really interested in is just this perceived assumption of objectivity and, and transparency, and also who gets to be the witness, who gets to have the story. And that ambiguity is something I'm really interested in. I like to work on different platforms. So you, it's, it could be in a gallery setting, but it also could exist as a film. So it's accessible in different areas. I want them to leave feeling empowered in some form, that their very specific personal story do matter. It's not an isolated thing, and that you can contextualize it within history and also just be cognizant of how we consume media and how we can critically engage it and and, in a, and when I exhibit it in different forms you have a different participatory relationship with it and it is incredibly difficult work to do but at the same time it needs to be out like it's a truth that resonates and the more I share I, the more people respond to it and they've never seen something that resonated because it's so specific and that's really rewarding for me.